Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. Okay, so I've got VS Code open here and I have my cursor near this H2 tag and let me hit the backspace and just change it to an H3. And I don't know if you noticed that, but this tag here also changed to an H3. Now that's not default behavior out of the box for VS Code. It's default behavior for like WebStorm, that kind of stuff. But it's funny because we can easily set that up on VS Code. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to install and set up software, please make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get to it. Okay, so the out of the box behavior is different than what I just showed you. So I've changed these to H3s. If I try and switch back to an H2, well, I have to change that tag, then go to the end of the line here and change this tag. I could also use multiple cursors uh, through, you know, using my Alt key and getting multiple cursors or through doing Control D. But I kind of like the behavior that I just showed you and it's easy to set up. And all we need to do is go to our extensions here on the side and that's right at the bottom of this activity bar. We'll click on that and we're gonna search for auto rename tag. Okay. Okay, so you'll see this auto rename tag will come up by uh, Hoon Yan, I believe. I, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm gonna click install. Okay, that's installed. I can close this out. I can close that out. And let me close out my sidebar here. And now when I change this H2 here to an H3, it also changes here. So I can change on the closing tag, or if I wanted to go to the opening tag here, change this maybe to an H2, it changes both the opening and closing tag. And that's all there is to it to set up auto rename tag. I'm hoping this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give me a like as that would help me out a lot. Thank you.